What's going on there folks? Good evening, Earthmaster here checking in on this, what is it, Wednesday night, June 2nd, 2021, 8.31 p.m. West Coast time here in California. Another hot day out here, no doubt. A latest quake on the globe, a 4.3 out here in this area of the world, right around the Turkey area. Uh, on the USGS map here shows that specific epicenter of that 4.3 just striking Turkey out there. Uh, in a regional area where we no doubt see a lot of earthquake activity historically. Um, what else we got out here in the plate tectonic world? A lot of movement up here in Alaska. Uh, this is just a 2.5 earthquake activity and above over the last 24 hours. Uh, still some aftershock activity following the 6.1 that struck uh, a few days ago. I still think there was a second quake. Uh, and some further movement up here. Uh, in the Bering Strait area. Check this movement out up here. Uh, just a 3.4 and a 2.6, but uh, in an area we just don't see earthquake activity too often in this region. Seen a little migration from the north up here up towards the north and then over to the west here uh, in Alaska. Just kind of keeping an eye on that area. Uh, Tokyo, Japan region. Seen a uh, couple of fours out there around Japan and also down through the uh, Philippines Islands area. Philippines area, you can see the 4.8 popping up and also a 4.4. These are pretty deep earthquakes within the uh, Philippine Trench. 118 kilometers and 121 kilometers for those earthquakes. Uh, also some further movement over here, uh, way, way east of Turkey into the Middle East. Afghanistan region, seen a couple fours, 4.5 in that area. Uh, let's see what else we got here, folks. Moving into the West Coast region, California. There hasn't been any significant movement uh, from last night. Uh, nothing new along the Cascadia as far as surface quaking goes. Uh, are watching, we are watching some earthquake activity north of Las Vegas, uh, which is kind of odd, right? But there is fault systems out there, Rock Valley Fault Zone. And, uh, uh, of course, many, many others, I'm sure, that have been uh, not listed out here. North of Las Vegas, by about 30 or 40 miles, we're seeing a little swarm of earthquake activity near the, uh, what is that, the spotted, what is that, spotted range? Is that, is that what it is? Uh, Indian Spring Valley, a lot of little mountain ranges out here. I shouldn't say little, they're actually fairly big. Um, and right now, about 19 earthquakes or so within this region. Most of them all uh, microquakes. It was a 2.5 and looks like another two-pointer, uh, but something to keep an eye on. Uh, northwest of Las Vegas a little bit. And what else we got here? A little quake underneath Lake Tahoe once again, a 1.1. And uh, some further movement up north, uh, kind of close to Lassen Peak, but uh, I want to see what's going on there. What is going on here? I'm tired of these earthquakes just disappearing. I don't believe it's my computer either because it's when I refresh it, it's still gone. Not for sure what's going on, folks. Oh, man. If you've been watching my updates over the past couple nights, it's been happening. Earthquakes, I'll be talking about an area, and then all of a sudden I zoom in, and they just disappear off the map. I refresh it, and they're not there. And then like a few seconds later, it comes back. It's odd. It's the oddest thing ever. There's that 2.7 we talked about uh, last night outside of Yellowstone National Park. Uh, near Silvergate, Montana, that has been reviewed. Uh, there hasn't been any further earthquake activity in this region, uh, Yellowstone National Park. It did pick it up pretty significantly. It's just off the map right now. That was at 2.7 there in Montana. You can just barely see it uh, stretching off the map, but it definitely showed up uh, pretty broadly in the Yellowstone National Park area. Uh, as of today, nothing really going on. It's just some, uh, uh, looks like maybe some small microquake or earthquake activity up here in the northeast corner of the park you can see some of these uh distinct localized earthquakes right there in the uh, spikes those are uh definitely earthquakes uh, but other than that the uh, rest of the park looks relatively quiet for now uh tremor map what do we got going on here in the tremor map 50 epicenters whoop de doo right all the way up in vancouver island area uh, rest of the Cascadia looks pretty uh, quiet for now along the slippage area. All right, folks, we're going to jump off here. I do have my nephew here tonight, so I've got to cut the uh, earthquake update short. And I hope everyone has a good night. Please stay safe out there, Los Angeles or uh, Las Vegas area.
Uh, just kind of getting in on some action there. Looks like maybe uh, another 2.6 just happened there on the uh, Earthquake 3D globe out there in the Las Vegas area. I want to check here real quick again. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yep. Just Well, this one's actually southeast of Las Vegas. So there's the uh, all the activity up here to the northwest of Las Vegas. Now we're getting some further movement to the southeast into Arizona out there in the Grand Canyon area, just south of the Grand Canyon. Kind of kind of interesting, folks, but you got to look at this as a regional view. Uh, this could be uh, a good sign of, uh, even though we got in, I think we got inward pressure here from the North American plate and the Pacific plate. Uh, and with the lock section, right, you get that lock section um, building up pressure for, further inland. Uh, that's, that could be a bad sign of uh, definitely some further increase in pressure out here along the west coast. So I have to keep an eye on this uh, and see if this progresses any further. So stay alert out there, folks. We'll chat you guys a little bit later on. Have a good night.